Hey, 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 Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. All right, when you think of the University of Pittsburgh, Terrell, you think of the great names, Tony Dorsett, Hugh Green, greatest defensive player of all time college, Bill the Bull Fralick, recognized as the greatest college offensive lineman of all time. But coincidentally, when we were there, Joe Moore is now recognized as the greatest offensive line coach to ever coach in college football. He's got an award after him. Right. Your memories of Coach Moore. Well, uh, you know, I was a defensive guy, so, you know, I don't know anything about offensive line, but when you watch Coach Moore, man, the thing I, I took from him, so intense, right? Detailed. Like, the guys were scared to death of him, but they loved him. And he really, you know, he'd watch him during practice. He'd sit down there, he'd be in the end zone watching his guy on the knee with a cigarette. And I'm like, and that's pretty cool. I don't know most guys smoke down there. But he was like down there, he'd get on them, the guys would come back, and, and you just watch the way they played, the way they worked together. And really, when you know you got it, how good the guy is, like that group was so tight, the O-line. They were so tight, and it started with him. And, and that's how he coached, and that's why he was so good for all the years that he was, because he knew how to get the most out of his guys. He knew by bonding them together and getting them tough-minded, tough guys, that they would fight for each other out on the field. And that's what he did. And off the field on occasion, <laughs> yeah, yeah, outside the O. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it was a doc I don't know if those are documented. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. But, no, but it was, it, it, I mean, it was really something to watch him. And plus, on a, on, a, on a funny note, he was the only guy I know that could make a sentence out of the F word. <laughs> <laughs> Adjective, noun, <laughs> verb. verb. Yeah, all of it. And I, I remember one game we were playing, and he got up there. I forget who it was against. I don't want to say the name of the team, but he got up there and he was going on and on. I was just, I turned to somebody, I go, did he use any word other than F? I said, because I'm ready to go. Let's go. He was, yeah, you know, fired he, up. Yeah, I'm fired up, ready to go. And that's just, you know, that's just what he was. And that's why, you know, like great coaches like that, they get people, uh, no matter what they're saying, no matter how they say it, they get them to follow. And, and he was a great coach. You're and coaching a on a, per yeah, I and mean, he was a great guy. And great it's a guy. testament. I mean, we all remember our bad coaches. Yes. They're, your bad coach is in your head. Yes. And our great coaches. We're into our 11th year with the Joe Moore camp. It's a testament to his legacy. Yes. So you're coaching on a professional level now. Mm -hmm. Remarkable that Coach Moore puts in close to 57 guys into the NFL. That's kind of unheard of that one position coach does something like that. What do you think Joe Moore did right with his players to get guys NFL ready from day one? Well, I think the first thing he developed with them was a mentality. You know, what is the mentality you're going to need to succeed? Because he knows how hard it is. It's a, you know, as a, as a lineman, there's no plays off. Down, down in, down out, you're hitting somebody. you got to be able to win against the guy across from you. And so I think he developed that mentality right from day one. He taught them football. Like, you know, there's one thing to teach you X's and O's. There's another thing to teach you football and how the game is going to go. Sometimes it's stuff that you're, you know, it's outside the lines. It's outside the playbook in terms of how do you handle situations. And he taught guys that. So I think that's why when you get guys that have talent and then you have a guy that can prepare them like that, that's why he had so many guys that were successful. Wow. Uh, well, there's a horn here at the Joe Moore camp. These kids have been through two days of grueling workouts in the high heat. We got some cover now. P I T T Pit. Let's go, Pit. Thank you, Tar. You got it. Thanks, See you, brother. Buddy.